Italian India might have just become my favorite fantasy country of all time. It's surprisingly not very hard to imagine an Italian Gandhi. So we're back once again for another Hearts of Iron 4 AI only video because I've got to milk the shit out of this series because I fucking suck at playing this game. So we have a world full of non-aligned or neutral countries, whatever you want to say. A lot of people were asking me to do like a monarchy only ideology video, uh, but that's kind of what this is. I should also mention I released just about every country that I could in this game. I mean, let's be real, Hearts of Iron 4 is uh, pretty predictable at times, so maybe this will make things exciting. Oh, and finally, I'm keeping these three default factions, that way we don't see just two big-ass teams fighting each other. The funny thing about this is uh, South America looks the exact same. After all these changes that I've made to the map, uh, this continent is... Oh, it's so boring. But you know what's not boring? The Confederate States of America. If you listen closely enough, you can just hear all the NASCAR races and the country music and the, s and the slaves. Strangely enough, though, why is 1% of the CSA communist. Those damn southerners. I, I knew that they were commies this entire time. Oh my god, Franco. Just kill yourself, man. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody. Seriously, I'll send you some Clorox. Just please. I'm, I'm so sick of your face. So we have the Kingdom of Italy just completely annexing Ethiopia. We also have like a sexy version of Mussolini. I mean, Daddy Stalin better watch out because uh, this man's coming for the title. We have Bourbon France in Europe. I have no idea why they're called that. They're also led by a brown version of Nicolas Cage. So, uh, so that should be interesting. I want to briefly bring attention to a unified Ireland. Please spread the love of alcohol around the world. We have Otto B leading Germany. You know, it's really hard to, like, stand outside the shadow of Hitler, but, uh, this man looks like he has a chance. He hasn't really started going down an aggressive part of his focus tree just yet, but he's got plenty of time. Oh my god, I forgot to mention this. The Emu Empire. Oh, it's the most glorious version of Australia I could think of. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is, like, a fucking joke. Or some weird-ass mod, like, accidentally made it into this game. Oh, wait, no, this is totally not a mod. This is actually in the fucking base game. Aw, oh, man, the Swedes and their humor. It's just something else. China and Japan have gone to war, and I really thought this would be the only time China would actually win. I mean, I did release the entire peninsula of Korea. Like, seriously, if you fail here, I'm gonna send you over to Franco and you guys can have a Clorox party. So we've seen this before, Great Britain is going after Norway. The problem with that is, uh, yeah, Britain is gonna look like a bunch of assholes, so we might see less people join the Allies because of this. Wow, this must be the toughest Canadian I've ever seen in my life. I- I didn't think you guys could look this scary. Well, I guess they're just trying their best to intimidate all the hillbillies in the South. Once again, we're seeing the French Alliance form, uh, with poor Kingdom of Bohemia, who's getting raped as we speak. And it looks like the Brits really don't appreciate the humor of the Swedes. I guess they're also sick of all the emu jokes. Now you'd think there's a chance here for Poland to form a pretty powerful team. I mean, they have released Belarus, Ukraine, and still all the Baltic countries. Would they want to join the me Dizemors? Midizemors? Guys, I'm fucking trying, I just can't do it. What is that? Tell me what that is. I've never seen that before. Oh, I also haven't mentioned Indochina. Uh, I feel like they're the South America of Asia. It's just very easy to forget about them. Oh, it looks like Nicolas Cage couldn't do it. Nope. Yeah, he, he failed. Well, you know, he might have failed, but, uh, it looks like he was able to gain control over the Kingdom of Hungary somehow. Or this is just his twin brother or something, maybe. Well, this is something you definitely don't see every game. Sweden's just planning to ram their humor down our throats. They don't care anymore. I am kind of curious to find out who this guy is. I mean, this is apparently Rod Hull. But who's this man? I mean, it's clear who's actually leading this country, but is this dude like the general? Oh yes, these borders just look absolutely beautiful now. Neutral Russia, who actually looks a little bit related to Papa Stalin, just grabbed half of Poland, so that's why the borders look like this. And now sexy Mussolini is planning to take out Greece. Oh, with Bulgaria's help too. Is that a separate war, or are they in the same alliance? Oh, yes they are. New Rome has formed, and, uh, and Greece is gonna die. What is up with French leaders in Corsica? It's a weird obsession, I guess. So even though Poland got half its land stolen away, uh, they are doing pretty well with their faction. I mean, it's not gonna last long because, uh, bald Hitler won't stand for it. Well, I guess for now his attention's gonna be on Yugoslavia. Will sexy Mussolini help out? Oh, I just realized Japan has a badass neutral name. The Japanese shogunate. It looks like the animes will spread all throughout Asia. Oh, we got a South African civil war. Cape Commune versus the Uter... What is that? Uni what is South Africa. Oh my god, that means communism was just born. We now have both fascism and communism in this non-aligned world. We also have Italy going after Great Britain. Great Britain is just like the Nazi of this planet. Luxembourg and Belgium were just eaten. 
the drug kingdom is next, I think. Oh my god, Ireland, do something. I need your alcoholism. Yeah, they unfortunately don't seem very interested in the world war right now. So Germany just declared war on Russia. That's gonna be interesting, especially with these fucked up borders right now and all these released countries. Oh, it looks like communism tried and failed, just like it did in real life. But for some reason, this new South Africa joined the common turn. I don't really get it, but uh, we'll have to see how this plays. Oh wait, R Rush, Russia, uh, South, uh, and Russia hates. Oh. Oh yeah, that makes actually a lot of sense. Turkey has also joined the Axis, but uh, the thing is, Russia's doing fine. I mean, as of this moment, with all the countries released, there is no immediate border at all. How is that possible? You don't have to channel your inner Stalin yet. Not yet. Italy, with the RKO out of nowhere, they made a landing in India. Ah, very creative of you, Japanese shogunate. I swear we see this peace deal every fucking game. China, this- come on, China, this is just sad. I understand why you lose this war most of the time. I mean, no one can stand up to best Korea. But yeah, we need to give you some of that Clorox. Now that right there is a beautiful fucking India. This is not official just yet, there's no peace deal, but man, I- I love this. This man is just proving himself to be better than Mussolini in all aspects. So Russia has just made a huge mistake by declaring war in the Middle East. Now Iraq and Iran are both part of the Axis. Maybe there's a reason why the Confederate States aren't getting involved. They always find a way to lose. Oh, also Japan declared war on the Dutch, uh, but this is just Indonesia now. I mean, I guess if they really want to come all the way to Europe, but that's a little extreme, guys. Russia just declared war on Afghanistan. Now they have really fucked up. Russia can defeat Hitler's Germany or Napoleon's France, but they always lose to Afghanistan. I mean, clearly the AI's hard at work. Look at this. Just impeccable strategy here. Oh man, they don't even need front lines. That's how confident they are. Well, as usual, by the end of one of these videos, we have a really strange world. I mean, Sweden and Norway just from the very beginning joined the Axis. That was, uh, that was kind of odd. Then Germany just completely left Poland alone. That is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Italian India might have just become my favorite fantasy country of all time. It's surprisingly not very hard to imagine an Italian Gandhi. The Australians have finally managed to create heaven on earth with the Emu Empire. The great peace treaty between Emus and humans have allowed these two species to coexist. The Confederate States are just totally chill with their slaves in North America. They don't, they don't care about all these wars. Also, Canada just fucking became fascist. Holy shit, this man is terrifying. Canadian Hitler has clearly risen to power, but it's 1946 and the powers at war have basically reached a stalemate. All right, you know what? Never mind. I've progressed the campaign by, well, I mean, it's 1960, so quite a ton. And Germany has control over all of Russia and uh, the British Isles. That's not much of a surprise, but we do also have Romania joining the Italian faction. And as you can see, Spain joined the Polish team. And that is due to the fact that Poland is now fascist. Completely fascist. So yeah, that ideology has had success as we uh, go further and further into this campaign. Mexico had a civil war, and now there are two fascist countries inside of North America, and they have formed the Northern Sovereignty Coalition. It'll mean more land for internment camps. I'm super disappointed that Italy didn't take over all of British Raj, but uh, yeah, India is now independent. Oh, and there's also German Pakistan. That's nice. As usual, Eastern Asia doesn't give a fuck, and uh, they've pretty much remained neutral. Oh, and the Dutch still exist. Japan didn't manage to uh, make a European invasion from halfway across the world. It seems like they're a little bit preoccupied with American islands, though, in the Pacific. You better keep your damn hands off Hawaii. Now, here's the thing that almost went unnoticed. That is, communism has made a comeback, baby. And it's in the Haiti Socialist Republic. And not only in the Caribbean, but also in Georgia. No, not hillbilly Georgia, once again. Uh, the one by the Black Sea. So communism has begun rising up in small pockets of the world. Obviously not as successful as fascism though. We do also have some democratic nations that formed up, but I think that's because I released them from Russia and for some reason they just default to that ideology. It's still kind of weird to me that they weren't able to spread that. I figured they would kind of like totally spread that around the world real quick, but uh, they didn't even try. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that North American war would ever pop up. That'd be nice, but uh, it ain't gonna happen. Canadian Hitler could have been the best thing this world's ever seen. I can already imagine him apologizing for every person he sends to a camp. It'd be great. But nonetheless, it looks like sexy Mussolini and uh, bald Hitler would really make their original leaders proud. To be honest, 
I expected a lot more communism and fascism to rise up in a world that was completely non-aligned. Regardless, I've learned a very valuable lesson today. As an American, I better be afraid of those Canadians. They're gonna load me up in a train and send me to Vancouver. Oh god, terrifying. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.